can I build a booty with this program? So next question is, should I repeat a week if I um, have missed it because like vacation or you feel like you really sucked at it? My best advice, uh, this is not in the guide, my advice to you, move on. What probably hindered uh, my results like from the beginning, because I started like technically in October 2014, geez, October 2014, but I repeated that first week one leg day every Monday for like four months. <laughs> I could not get over it. It was the worst workout ever. And then one Friday night, uh, March, in March, um, I was like, screw this, I'm going to do day two. So it's Friday night, I'm crying, I've got my hair soaking wet out of the shower, and I started week, uh, week one, day two, arms and abs inside of my bedroom at like 10 p.m. So just go for it. What you need to realize is you're probably going to repeat that week again anyways in two weeks. So take care of it then. Use today, use that week as like, a, okay, this was my learning week. I'm so excited to get stronger the next time I do this. And then you're gonna feel badass. So that's all you need to remember. Can I build a booty with this program? <sighs> Depends on your genetics. Um, so I naturally have, like everyone in my family naturally has bigger glutes because we carry fat in our glutes. Um, so when I started, I definitely had bigger glutes just naturally from genetics. But as I did BBG, I uh, was once called a pancake ass. Everyone was like, what happened to your butt? Like, you look great, you lost weight, but what happened? Um, and so you have to remember this is a very cardio-based program. You won't be building much of your glutes besides the actual muscle underneath. So I was definitely toning, which is great, but the actual like muscle, like big muscle uh, was not forming because it was kind of like contradicting itself um, while I was doing the cardio. But you do a ton of step ups uh, in BBG 1.0, you definitely incorporate some squats. Uh, BBG 2.0 is when I think the booty building kind of begins because you've got deadlifts, you've got um, squats, barbell squats, uh, and just like different kinds of sumo squats that really start activating your glutes more. But once again, you are doing more of a cardio-based program so you won't see bigger glutes necessarily, you'll see toned glutes. Did you do any programs while you were doing BBG? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, when I first committed to BBG, it was a 100% commitment because that's the way it needs to be when you do any program. If you half-ass it or start incorporating other programs, what you're doing is counterproductive, typically. I know a lot of people would start doing like ab programs along with it or additional cardio sets, but really, if you wanna see the results that Kayla promises, then you need to follow this program to a T. So that's exactly what I did to see my results from week one through week 24. But after that, um, I wanted to start diving a little bit into bodybuilding and just like weight training. So I did start incorporating another program and I was doing BBG at the same time. What I realized was I was over training. Um, I got to a point where I was really skinny um, and then I found myself binging a lot. Um, I was super tired, unmotivated, and I just started to like just hate <laughs> all the programs I was doing. So I highly recommend just sticking to this. Uh, if you are here to lose fat and gain lean muscle, this is the program for you, only stick to this. And if you need to incorporate something additional as a list exercise, then that would be something more like a class or some other type of low intensity steady state cardio activity.